Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to type integrals and limits in LaTeX. Here is a brief summary of what you will learn in this video tutorial. First of all, I will teach you how to write simple integrals with two bounds. Then, I will teach you how to write integrals that consist of two integrals and two bounds. Then, I will teach you how to write double integrals over a single integration domain. Then, I will teach you how to write triple integrals, then quadruple integrals, and also these types of integrals. Finally, I will teach you how to write integrals with circles, such as this one over here. Then, you will learn how to write limit values and how to use limit values in other expressions. Okay, let's start from scratch. So open your favorite LaTeX editor. In my case, I'm using Text Studio and I strongly recommend to everyone to use it. Behind the scene, I'm using Mic Text to compile the PDF files. First of all, let's define document class. Over here, I will specify that it's A4 paper and the class should be article. This is the first line that most of the LaTeX documents contain. Let's introduce some packages. We will use package over here. Let's type. First of all, we will need AMS SYMB package. I hope that I didn't make a mistake. Let me double check. AMS, good. SYMB, this is good. And then we will use the standard AMS math package. Good. Then I will also need the package float. So I will type use package and over here float. Good. Then let's give the title to our document. Let's write, let's not make some spelling mistake. Integrals and limits in LaTeX. Good. Let's continue. And over here, you can even specify the author name. I will specify my name. And let's begin document. And let's end the document. This should be a minimum LaTeX document that should be compiled with no problems. So let's try to compile this and let's hope that we will not see any error over here. And here it is process exited normally. So nothing is displayed here and this is completely okay since we didn't add anything to our document. Okay, so let's add a first thing. First of all, let's specify over here under begin document, make title. Okay, and let's put a small abstract. And let's end the abstract over here. Okay, it automatically actually ended. And this is abstract. Good. Let's compile this and let's see what will happen. Perfect. Let's start with writing. Okay, the first step is to teach you how to write integrals. So I will start a section over here with no number called integrals. Okay, so let's compile this and let's see the outcome. Good. To write equations, I like to use the align environment. So consequently, I will start my align environment and I will end the align environment. Good. And let's write a simple integral. We write integrals like this. We start int, then we specify the lower bound, for example, a is equal to 1. Then we specify over here the upper bound, a is equal to 5. And let's write over here something. For example, f of a, then let's add some space and da. So let's compile this and let's see the outcome. And here is our first integral. Looks very good. Next, let's learn how to write double integrals. 
First of all, we will write double integrals consisting of two integrals and two bounds. The principle is the same. You will start the equation, and then over here, we are just going to write again integral, then over here I will specify axis from 1 to, for example, axis 5, and then we will repeat this with different bounds corresponding to different variable, for example, y. And over here, let's specify some function, f, x, y, and let's add some space over here. We do it like this, dx, and then more space, dy. So let's compile this and let's see the result. And here's our second integral. Good. Next, let's learn how to write integrals over a two-dimensional domain. We can do it like this. Again, let's start our align. And let's end the align. You can see that it can automatically also complete the environment. And over here, to write an integral consisting of two integrations, and domain, we need to write this. I n t, that is double i at the beginning, then over here we need to specify domain, then let's type f x y, and over here some space dx, then some space dy. So let's compile this and let's see the outcome. Here it is. Looks perfect. Next, let's learn how to write triple integrals. Again, over here we will begin a line, then we will end a line over here, and then inside we will write i, 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 that is triple i, and then int, and over here we can specify the domain name, for example, g, and let's define a function depending on three variables, then some space, and let's type dx, then some space over here, dy, some space, and then dz. And here is our integral, so let's see it. Perfect, looks amazing. Now I will copy and paste this one to save some space and time. And over here, oops, I made an error here. Let me erase this. So I will copy this part over here and paste it, and if you want to write integrals with four integration symbols, then you will, you will add an additional i over here, and then over here I will specify w, and then over here I will add the new variable, for example, dw, and that's it. And here it is. Perfect. Next, let's learn how to write integrals with dots. So let's begin our align. Oops, I didn't want this, I want align. Okay, let me type it manually since autocompletion for some reason is not working currently. And these integrals can be written like this, i dot int. And then over here we can specify the integration domain, for example, v. Then over here we can specify our function, for example, f x1. Then we can say over here l dots x, n, and over here we can simply say dx1, then we can again do l dots, and over here we can specify dx, n. So let's compile this and let's see the result. And here it is. It looks really amazing and professional. Next. In complex analysis, you would often have to write integrals with circles. So let's learn how to do that. So let's start our align environment. Let's close it. Let's close the align environment. And let's type our integral. Our integral with a circle can be written like this, O integral. And over here you can specify domain, for example, W, and let's specify our function fx, then some space, dx. So let's compile this and let's see the output. And here it is, looks very good.
Okay, next let's learn how to type limits. Consequently, let's open a new section called limits. Limits are very easy actually. Let's create our equation. And inside of this equation, let's type our first limit. For example, limit starts like this with limit. Then you need to specify over here the actual limit. So let's do this, x2, and let's type infinity. The symbol for infinity is like this. And let's say some function f of x is equal to some final value, for example, 5. So let's compile this and let's see. Good, looks very nice. You can zoom it and see it over here. Another way for writing limits is actually to use the right arrow. So let me show you how to do that. I will simply copy and paste this part over here to save some time and space. And instead of these two, you can simply write right arrow. And that's it. And if you do this, you will obtain the equivalent representation. Okay, that's all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I'm creating, please press the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks a lot and see you in the next video tutorial.